Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2021 with a guest appearance from Photoshop. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import Photoshop documents into After Effects and retain all of your layers. So you can design in Photoshop, animate in After Effects, and jump back and forth if you need to make changes in Photoshop. So here I am in Adobe Photoshop CC 2021. I have a lower third graphic that I'm working on and I want to bring it into Adobe After Effects to animate it. Once you're done designing, you want to save your Photoshop document as a Photoshop file or a PSD file. So go to File, Save As, and this drop down will select Photoshop, give it a name, save it to location, and click on Save. And now it's time to import it into After Effects. So you can come up to the File menu, go to File, Import, Import File. You can use the keyboard shortcut Command I or the easy way, if you just double click over here in the project panel, that'll open up your finder window. You can locate your file that you just saved as a PSD file. Here, we'll keep this at all acceptable files. The format you see is Photoshop, that's what we want. For the import as, we're gonna change this to composition retain layer sizes. So I'll click on this, you can keep this check, create composition, click open, Back in Photoshop, you'll see this FX. Those are layer styles. So I had drop shadows on these two layers. So this dialog is asking, do I want to keep those layer styles of the drop shadows editable? Why, yes. So I'm going to keep this check. I'm going to click OK. If we look in the project panel, there's a folder here. And if I twirl that down, you will see all of your layers from your Photoshop document. There's also a composition that After Effects created for us. All we have to do is just double click on that composition. And if we look in the layers panel, you will see that all of the Photoshop layers came over on their own layer in After Effects. So we can animate all of these individually. And if we look at this layer right here and I twirl this open, you will see that it also brought in the layer styles. So I can actually make the changes to this drop shadow right here in After Effects. And the black that you're seeing is just the color of the composition settings. This is a transparent background. If I click on the transparent grid, you can see it's still transparent like it was in Photoshop. If you ever need to go back to Photoshop, all you have to do is select the layer that you wanna make a change to, right click or control click, go to open, and select Edit Original. So I'm gonna click on that. Photoshop opens. Here are all my layers, just the way we left them. All I have to do is just make any changes. Click OK. Save it. So just go to File, Save. After saving the changes in Photoshop, when we go back to After Effects, you will see that that layer has been updated almost instantly. Pretty cool. And that is how you can go back and forth between Photoshop and After Effects. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.